How many of you woke up this morning and you were worried about having a safe place to live? Or you woke up this morning and you worried about being abused? Or you were scared that you were going to be taken to some place that's new and scary because some adult says it's what's best for you even though no one's asking you what's best? For most of you in this room, you probably don't and never have had to worry about those things. Yet, sadly, for around 428,000 kids just in America, that may not be the case. Foster care could be having a negative effect on children's brains and bodies. Children in foster care are more likely to develop mental and physical conditions such as asthma, anxiety, depression, obesity, and ADHD. A lot of kids in foster care are also abused. In fact, over 28% of foster kids are abused. And when you do the math, that's 119,840 children in America that are abused by someone who should be helping them and not hurting them. I had a friend who was abused by her biological parents. And our church bus would go and pick them up at their house, and they would show up to church with black eyes and bruises, her siblings too. And it was a long time before anybody ever did anything. And they went from foster care home to foster care home until they finally found a good home, and yet they're still moving apart from each other. And this kind of thing happens every day in tons of kids' lives. Not all kids in foster care are abused, but 28% are. And that's a lot of kids. So what are we doing to help them? And what are we doing to make sure that they feel safe? No matter what goes on in your life, you have to understand that there are other people out there who are going through those same things and worse things, and you can help them instead of just hiding behind your wall. Did you know that there are several foster kids just in this one building? I'm sure a lot of you know foster kids. And I'm sure a lot of you know foster kids who are being abused and mistreated and neglected. But you have no idea that that's going on. Of course, there are lots of really good foster care parents out there that are doing nothing but helping children. But it is indisputable that there are people who neglect, mistreat, and abuse those children, and it goes unnoticed. And when a child is abused, it does horrible things to their brains and their bodies. If abuse occurs, it impacts the cortex, uh, the cortex capability, it decreases cortex activity, which is the decision-making part of your brain, and it increases limbic activity, which is the emotional part of your brain, and it impacts thyroid activity, stress hormones, and gene expression. And those kinds of things will last for that kid's whole life. So what are you doing to help the kids around you who go through this kind of thing on a daily basis? What are you doing to make sure that that kid who sits alone at lunch, who no one ever talks to because they have ragged clothes and they show up to school with black eyes all the time, what are you doing to help those kids? There has been over 18 school shootings this year, and the suicide rate has gone through the roof. It starts with depression, it starts with anxiety, and these kids who are being abused by their parents and they come to school and have no friends, that's those kids. It's never like the cheerleader or the basketball player or football player that comes to school with a gun in their hand. It's the kids who are social outcasts and no one ever talks to. And we can prevent so much of that by just being nice to them and talking to them and being their friend. We could prevent so many awful tragedies by just being a friend and trying to do what you can to help. Whether you're an adult or a child, there is something you can do to help foster kids. If you're a kid, do not let others look down on you because you are young. There is something you can do to make an impact in that person's life. There is something that you can do to change their entire life around. You don't have to be able to be an, an adult and be a foster parent in order to make a difference in their life. 
All you have to do is be kind and be their friend. One small action goes a long, a long way. And it could change their life. And if you're an adult, you don't even have to be a foster parent to help either. Just listen. If it's all you can do, listen. Because these kids are constantly being overlooked and they're not being heard. I looked up child satisfaction surveys online when I was researching, and there were no foster care child satisfaction surveys. There were only foster parent satisfaction surveys. No one cares if the children are happy. No one is listening to them. No one is asking them how they can help. If you ask someone how you can help, you may be surprised by the answer, and it may be something that you can very easily do in your everyday life that will help them so much. And then you have to go, and you have to go do what they need. You have to go out and put forth effort to make a difference in someone's life. In the hustle and bustle of an adult's life, it gets easy to forget that children are not these dumb little creatures whose opinions don't matter. And those children aren't always going to be children. Someday they're going to be lawyers who defend those who can't defend themselves. And doctors who keep us safe and healthy. Scientists and inventors who dedicate their knowledge to our everyday lives. Musicians that go out and make us happy. And teachers who give everyone an education but they won't be able to be those adults if while they're kids, they're mistreated and neglected and abused and nobody does anything about it. If they're abused every time that they make a mistake while they're kids, they're going to grow up too afraid to try new things. And if they are treated like they don't matter, they're gonna grow up believing that. If they're constantly sad with no one to help them, they're going to grow up not even knowing how to be happy. And if they're mentally and physically broken and nobody puts them back together, then they're going to grow up not knowing how beautiful they are as a whole. So don't let the future of this world go unnoticed. Don't sit by and do nothing and watch some kid's life fall apart. Do whatever you can, however you can, for the rest of your life, and you will make a difference, and this world will be full of happy and working adults who don't have to worry about being mistreated and neglected. We know that they matter, and know that they are human beings created for a purpose.